doing? Hope you're going to have an awesome day today. Oh, first here, if you have ready, can you do me a favor? Hit the like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, to go ahead, push that bell for notifications off so you can get to scoop my news upcoming videos. It's going to be a recap and a breakdown video. So, Dr. Mina is actually training with Barry right now at the moment with the Flash. But she needs to head back to her laboratory because she's running low on fumes, meaning she needs to recharge herself. So, uh, Cecile is actually making a withdrawal order. Then, some bank robbers are about to cause some trouble. So, Cecile uses her power like you no know, ordinary. And she ends up whammies all of them one by one at a time, which is astonishing until the police comes and arrest them. After the police came and arrest them, she goes back to Team Flash to check her vital systems. She's doing perfectly fine and she's mastering her powers, which is magnificent on a secular level. Now, Barry visits Dr. Mina and he, basically Barry hasn't even revealed that his secret that he's the Flash yet. He's just only a consultant for the Flash, he says. So Dr. Mina shows him where she gets her AI speed force from her artificial speed force. Then he meets her colleague, yes, Ebert Thon. This shocked me at first when I saw this episode. So Barry is trying to be respectful while Dr. Mina is inside the room. When she's in outside the room, Barry is fierce. So Barry talks to uh, Ebert Thon and says, what, is this your plan the whole time? Coming here, giving her speech or his powers, trying to kill me. Is that what you're trying to do right now, Don? Now, this Hebrew Don has no idea what Barry is talking about. So, Barry is furious and he thinks that, yes, there's something up. It might be a time remnant. So, he's going to go back and talk to the real Don that's actually in the present because something's not adding up. Meanwhile, one year ago, Don actually applied to. Dr. Mina's science lab as a, I say, a personal lab assistant. Uh, she had a speed force formula and he actually nailed it and she said, you can work with me. We're back on, um, I guess you could say Leon Yu. We see this scene where Thon is actually reading Cal Monte Cristo book. Barry is fears right now. He's trying to ask Thon, why is there another you in this present? What is going on? You tell me, Thon. Have you ever planned this all along? Barry's trying to get some ideas from something out of him. I mean, I fought you many times. Have you two ever learned anything from Armageddon and Flashpoint? Even when you fought the Legends? When you fought the Legends, you even died by the hands of the Black Flash. How are you still alive coming into my life, trying to ruin my life? Coming into the city, into the present? Tell me. So Barry grabs Thon's book and draws the AI, uh, I guess uh, you could say molecular device. Thon backs away and says, this man, this Thon, did not create this AI machine because I'm the one who created it. Two centuries from now, Barry. Thing is that this Thon, well, I guess you could say with Thon's present, future, past, they all, all have little things in common and i think it's um humorous then barry speeds away and john arrives we have not seen john in long time people i'm glad we finally saw him now john wants thon's help he needs some anti information really fast because this box is causing him trouble the box actually closed and it's calling to him he needs someone's help he needs someone that has more knowledge than anyone ever has. Now, Barry rushes over to Dr. Mina's laboratory. He's trying to explain to Dr. Mina that you're working for a psychotic serial killer called the Reverse Flash. That's right. E. Barthon is the Reverse Flash. He's a violent, impulsive speedster that doesn't care who he hurts, who he kills. And Don is trying to say, I'm not a speedster. I'm not the Reverse Flash. And Barry's threatening to take him to Argus Prison. Mina can't take it anymore than Dr. Mina, so she puts herself in the AI machine. When she's inside of it, let's just say that negative speed force gets inside of her. She whammy, so knocks them out. So I guess you could say flash an e but she's trying to search for more power. Meanwhile, back on Leon Yu, 
uh, John wants to try to open the box, so Don says, listen to my words. Think about it. The first time you saw the box when it opened, they did, the box thought that it chose you. But then when it closed, they thought that you weren't ready. But now imagine that you're ready. Then the box began to open. And Diggle saw a lot of things and he threw and says, I don't want it. Now, Diggle told John that I saw thousands of people that I could rule, that I could save. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want to be a father. I want to be a husband. Family. That's what I really want. And John leaves and he gets a call from his wife. And I think that's pretty cool. Lila, he's going back to them. That's a little Easter egg for you. I'm not sure if you know that. So Barry is about to work with Dawn. Because the thing is Dawn actually reveals to Barry that Dr. Mina isn't just my co-worker. I love her. She loves me too. Now the thing is that Mina, she was sick all along. The reason why she was sick is because she was having heart problems. And one time she ended up taking her medicine, but her medicine wasn't doing any good. And she had a stroke. Now she wouldn't even wake up. The only chance, the only probability that I could do it is put her inside the AI speed force. It saved her life, but it came with the class. Which means she's a speecher now. I'm telling you, Flash, I'm innocent. I'm not the speecher you say I am. I'm in love with Mina. That's who I am. And I'm a doctor. The Flash agrees with him and apologizes. Says, All right, you're coming with me. So he's inside the van. They're trying to track down Mina. She's gathering up some energy sources. Then Barry, the Flash, decides to, let's just say, catch her off guard and make her follow him onto the lake. So Barry jumps into the air, throws the lightning bolt inside the water, makes her flushes out of the lake so that she lands on the ground. Then she's literally about to kill uh, Barry. But Dawn hops out of the van and Dawn says, come back to me, Mina, I know you're there. So she comes out of, it, out of her little state, out of the negative speed force. They go back to the laboratory. Now Barry's think of the idea of saying that we need to tweak this AI speed force next time you use it, meaning we don't want any negative speed force with inside you. Uh, that's an idea what they're about to do in the next episode too, as well. Then they get a call from Ray. Ray says that the legends encounter another Dawn, similar to the Dawn you saw, but a little different. Now this Dawn was not a speedster, but he did help the legends and he sacrificed himself. So my probability guess is that the rapes took him back to life and took him to Central City Year Present to give him another chance of living. Then Marcus calls up Katie and Marcus knows exactly how to save will bring back Frost to life. Which is insane, I know. Then Don is reminiscing about the past where he was the best in his prime where he could actually even run faster than Barry. Then he hears a familiar voice inside his cell. Yes, it's a Steel Force Dion. You won't believe what happens uh, when I tell you guys about the trailer. Yes, it's insane. All right. So we, I had to deep dive into this trailer and I found out some interesting new things about it. And there's a new speech with a new suit, which is awesome. I love it. Are you guys ready? It's time for the breakdown. Let's dive right into it, shall we? So back at Star Labs, we are in. Barry's having trouble with the speed force powers. I'm talking about his vital systems, his organic speed force. It's not colliding with the cells on a smeckler level. Something's wrong with it. And Barry can sense it inside the speed force and he wants to find out what exactly is wrong with it. So he goes to Eubar Thon for help. Yeah, Eubar Thon's actually going to help Team Flash, which is amazing and awesome. Now, oh, this is the kicker. So Dion is the one who actually gave Thon his speed force powers, meaning he gave him negative speed force. Mind blowing. I know, it's a shocker. Then Caitlyn actually has a crowd chamber tube that will bring Frost back to life. I'm like, this is insane. Now Dr. Mina has a sick speedster outfit, courtesy of Eubar Thon. I'm pretty sure he created one. Now Barry is fatigued, meaning I don't think that he could actually protect anyone in Central City at the moment. 
Mina's stepping up. She's going to become, I'd say, the second one in command. I believe we finally find ours. They feel an ours somehow. Who knows how they feel an ours. So, Don knows that there's a big player in town besides Dion. So, yes. They're going to be facing Dion and they're going to be seeing Thon having his powers back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel as always. And yes, of course, I'll see you all in the next video.